Hi everyone, Rune Cloak here, and today I'm playing a Monster Hyper Thin Thrive deck. This is a deck I've wanted to make for a while, and I've tried different iterations. Every time they add new monster thinning stuff, I, I take another crack at it. And most recently, they've added a new scenario that thins your deck by one with your highest, you know, base power br bronze in deck. Or just highest power bronze. Anywho, um, I decided to... I also had Penitent in it already. It's one of the leader charges. This is an overwhelming hunger deck. And so I'm like, it's a Thrive card too, even more synergy. Um, so the way the deck works is it's a little a little difficult to play because you don't have like tactical decision for like Nilfgaard Hyper Thin. Um, and it's just the kind of thing that Monster has is a little bit different, so it's pretty easy to brick. It's also coming from a lot of different sources in order to get that full, um, that full like nine card thin to get value from your Triss and Yen. Same kind of hyper thin payoff there. Okay, and here we got a game. Let's see what we got. So it's very draw dependent, but with the right like play style, you can um, kind of balance out the bad draws and just make sure you don't brick too much and just keep going. And it's a lot of point slam too. Like, see. And we're on blue coin, but technically these three cards are bricks. And I have this in hand, so I want to. Well, I also have this in hand, so let's just. Okay. I do people play this, but I definitely want to play this, which I just made possible. I actually have two Thrive cards for this, which is nice. Oh, and this is going to pull off a Griffin, so you got to be careful about that. Let's see. Let me just let Roach come out this round, and then just mulligan that for Bruce in round two. Okay, that's great too. Another Thrive card's beautiful to play here. Let's see. Okay, so. Yeah, the second proc of this scenario. A griffin's gonna come out. Hmm. So I'll need like they're probably gonna damage my units, so I'll have a griffin to destroy one of those. <laughs> it's a little bit awkward, but you can make it work. I kind of have to play scenario here. So I'm gonna play these drive cards. Don't really wanna play old spear tip. So we'll just open scenario, I guess. Bro, it doesn't matter too much. <laughs> nice start there. Let's see, there's some reminder. Okay. Should be alright. Moral decree. Okay, to Saskia. To the Catwitcher. I can just kill the Catwitcher. Okay, no Milva. Let's see. I could play Drowner. And kill it that way. Or I could use TA and kill it. I'd rather save the TA. Because I have another Cursed Damsel to play. Although... I could do... Let's see. Hmm. It's going to be better later. That was good. And then if I drown her, I'll just have the griffin kill Roach. It's not great. It looks proc my thrives though. Maybe they hit this down to one. <laughs> see what other cards do I have to play? Hmm, okay, not very many. I can play penitent. Penitent also. Well I could save a consume off penitent. It's just a dried matron. Just one more feather. Not necessarily worth killing. Maybe penitent's too big of a commitment here. Old spear tips the other consideration.
Yeah, I think I just have to eat roach with the griffin. And this can kill a four, so I don't really want to use it here. Yeah, my two leader charges go for Bruis and then for Penitent. It's funny, a lot of monster thinning is kind of... Well, I guess both of these cards, though, are like need you need uh, consumes for. Okay. Okay. Play Old Spirit Tip, I can play Penitent. Old Spirit Tip procs this. Penitent doesn't. If I'm playing Penitent, I take Pugo out of the deck. Pugo's good for having these here. But I don't want them to win the round. I don't want to play both of these. So maybe I just play Penitent? Hmm. I might better just play... If I play Old Spirit Tip, they could just pass. That's kind of fine. And then, do I kill anything? Kill the Berserker? I don't think I need to. That's nice. So, 20 points down. Alright. Another Cow Witcher. Mm -hmm. They hit it twice? I can kill this, though. But I could also just pass. And then they think they have engines. They could hit armor, and then I also have another 12 points from here. So they have to play another card. And I don't want to give him Penitent, too. I think I should just pass here. Again, you gotta be smart with this deck and play a little differently than you otherwise would. I could play Triss, I guess. It could be a card to play. You got, definitely have some bad options, but you have some good ones, too. Like a 60% chance to get something that could like answer the Cowitcher. I guess Trist maybe would have been in play. Like I said, I'm getting another 12 points. Hmm. Alright, they're thinking a lot. I think it makes me feel better about this. Chameleon. That doesn't really... That's not gonna do it. Although they hit that, which is kind of lucky, but again, they have to go down another card, so going to a long round three is not ideal for me. Because my deck is kind of point slammy. And this is like my engine round. Hmm. Yeah, in hindsight, I should have just played Triss. It felt like a bit of an overcommitment, but... I mean, maybe they just can't have the points here. Please, you still stand. And then... They have one point... No, they have like two points. Four points passively, maybe. And then whatever comes out of there. They should be fine, actually. I mean, they know their deck better. Maybe they need a leader charge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, see, that's enough. So let's see. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't need the extra leader charge there. They would have, well, they would have been enough by one. Alright, so now I've got to actually do some thinning here. Because if I just dry pass, not dry pass, but just like play one card and pass, then I'm losing points. Hopefully I can get Maxi here. Maxi would be a perfect card. So, Sprick. This is a brick too, kind of, because I want it for Mamuna. Alright. Okay, so I just play... I just play like... Drowner could be good. Damsel could be good too. Well, Damsel plus Drowner is good, but I need to play two cards. I'm not playing any golds here. Maybe the warrior I want to keep. Mm, 
without Thrive cards. I mean, it's good with Imlareth, potentially. But I don't need to worry about that so much. I wish I drew Maxi. I could just Damsel Downer. Maybe it's Warrior Damsel. Alright, I think it's Damsel Warrior. Okay, now I just gotta be careful with these mulligans here. Okay, got a mulligan, Pugo. We thinned equally. <laughs> okay, brick, nice. Nice. Okay. Alright, so we brick one. <laughs> but we should be okay. Oh, Imler, I'm missing Imler. Pretty bad. It's not only is he in deck for my payoff, but it's one less than. I mean, I'll thin out all of these. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> What's the ordering here? Let's see. Maybe it's just Maxi first. Because I'm trying to think. Like, I want the 11 and the 9 in deck for these cards. The 6 could be even good too. It's just better than Inlareth. I don't want to play Drowner, obviously. This I want to play after Drowner. So let's open Maxi. Okay, doesn't matter. We're not drawing any cards. Yeah, I should have used Triss round one to win round one. And I could have bled round two. Feign death. Okay, so this is the elf version, I guess. Maybe it's a double scenario. Might as well just natural selection this. Right, yeah. And the natural selections are in this deck too, to put some ones on the board for the griffin that comes out of scenario, if it comes to that. I think so. This isn't so bad. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, you can either drown in that or trist that. I think I just drown it. Yeah, because the chance trist doesn't answer it properly. A 1 in 4 chance, still. I may try to 50-50 the Vanadane if they have a Vanadane. Or if they move it back. Okay, now that's just an Ethereon. An Ethereon might be worth trying to kill here. It's like two engines. Yeah, might as well. Also plays with the Thrive Curve. We got it. We'll play this late. Okay, there's the scenario. She's nine now, wow. Double scenario, okay, double scenario. This is in a long round. Definitely would have liked to have fled this. So, let's play this other, other card here. Hmm, let me just play this. Is that on a yeah. I'm gonna play this White Havoc Drive card on the board. We're <laughs> ahead. Okay, it's Percival. Could have been good to wait with, but I'm not sure I would have had the chance. I mean, yeah, now I know she would have killed it, but honestly, that's a similar idea. The Anthereon. Okay, now I'll play in. Might still be okay here. Their hand's gotta be awkward, just being a double scenario deck. Alright, that's pretty good. Still, these two are gonna pop off. So, this is a 20. Okay, I need to make sure also that I don't get Sabbath. Hmm. 
So I played one other poison. Right? So if I like use the consume, it's six less. Yeah, it's six fewer points. But kind of a seven. They don't have two more poisons. They probably just have Weeping Willow, and then they have the leader to move it. Mm. Yikes. So that's an interesting point here. If I eat this... Oh, I've got to play Mamuna first, so I don't Sabbath. So, I could technically be gaining. Well, okay, because if. You know, because it's Weeping Willow. Right, because they play the other one of this. It could be just a Whisperer, but it doesn't matter. But I'm losing 7 points if they can kill this. I'm losing 6 points by doing this. And they definitely are not. I don't think they're just trying to bait me here. Although, I guess I... Mm, mm. Okay, I actually could have done this a better way. That's funny. I just realized. If I... Yeah. What I could have done is just play this regular regular, and then play Mamuna with the Sabbath to kill this with a Griffin. And then I would have had an extra 6 points here. So I would have lost 2, gained 4. Mm, they definitely have the other poison. Just play with the Thrive Curve here. So I effectively lost four points by not seeing that move until was until after. Okay, there's an elf. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, yeah, I don't have the consume. I wish I did. This is gonna be pretty big, and they still have the bird because they thinned well too. Saskia. This is an interesting deck. I applaud them. <laughs> I definitely would have done a big bleed too if I won round one. <laughs> Damn it! No, no, sorry, but this could have gone a lot better. But it's fine. I, I think I'd... it's not over yet. I still have a big finisher. And this for now. I'm still like ahead every every turn. <laughs> okay, so sleep guardian. <laughs> Yikes. Every point they play is just so many points. Every card they play is just so many points. Okay. Let's see if I can even catch up here. Ah, uh, no, no, I couldn't. It's a shame. Let me see your finisher, though. Alright, cool. Well, they're gonna show me. Oh, look at that. Huh. A Yurden. Nice. That's a little less classy. Alright. Point taken. Their deck worked well. Um, I mean, how much did the elf scenario really play for? It's like 4, 10. I guess kind of 16. Not bad. Alright, let's go again. Alright, up against pirates. Should be okay. I don't have a lot to control. Except for my Thrive cards, but they're kind of just trying to get extra value. Alright, scenario round one's really nice. Okay. Let's see. Do you really want this card in hand? Hmm. Let's see. Maybe just mulligan one of the noon rates. I need another Thrive card to play. Alright, that's not good. Well, I guess I could do it. I guess I can make this become a Thrive card. Or I just not commit scenario. That might be the better play, to just not not play it. I have to decide now, though. And I could just, like, play a few cards and pass.
Like, I could play Griffin from hand, even. And then have a quickly Marmuna Griffin next round. Okay, no Coral starting off. Very good collecting to discard stuff. Okay. Be able to draw this. Let's put Pugo down. Pugo's the card I want in the bot. I want down low. I also want him too slow. No, I want him to be able to be pulled out with penitent because always penitent's a brick. Which is no good. It's as a hyper thin deck, I'm playing all my cards, so I don't want to play a 2 for 7. Really don't. Okay, this is a Renfrey Pirates deck, alright? Alright, okay. I, I had a Renfrey version of this monster deck, but with the, the scenario, I really wanted to play it like that. Okay. I haven't done very well getting carry over. They have one armor on their pirate cards now. Let's see. Can't really catch up easy. I wanted the Griffin in the graveyard for Mamuna. I think I stand by that. Okay, that's really helpful. Okay. Ooh, a Dimmune Pirate. Cool, I like those. Alright, I was lucky for them. Alright, now I've got a pass. The discard package is very strong. A lot of tempo. Alright, so I need Thrive cards for my manor. So, four in deck. Plus, these are kind of good work. Nope. Mm, there's one Thrive card. Okay, that's... Okay. Alright, there's another Thrive card. If they bleed, I can play Scenario. And then I just need my Mamuna, Mamuna before. Mm. I haven't committed anything yet, so I don't want to commit anything either. So I can just play this. I don't want Simlareth pulling out. Hmm, I guess we have this too for a Thrive card. So if I play the damsel, it's fine. Will they discard here? Corsair, interesting. They pass, I just have to play this. Hmm. See, that's fine. Here I go, getting into another long round. <laughs> what you thinking, friend? Okay, they pass. I play this. So I'm gonna keep my Thrive cards. Alright, 
Long round three with scenarios, not bad. Still have thrive cards. Just need to avoid bricking. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so this needs to go with this. So actually I need to I need to draw Bruis. Alright, not quite Bruis. Okay. That's unfortunate. So I also need to play my cards in such a way where I thin out mm, Damsel rather than Bruis. There's a lot of cards I don't want to draw into with Imlarith. I can just play like Dark Secret first and then wait a little bit with the other Thrive card, which is kind of fine because it's going to be Penitent, right? And Imlarith is taking ne this Necker Warrior. Okay. Good start. Here comes the second drowner. Rude. Really rude. What the heck? Okay. So this should boost to four, I think. Yeah. Interesting. Discarded a Dimian Pirate. Hmm. Let's play Old Spirit up here. They shouldn't have a very convenient way to hit him. I don't really want to play either of these yet. Mamuna or Spear Tip. I don't want them to get Griffins on the side of the board. The difference between 9 and 12 shouldn't be too much. Doubt they have Tier V either. Okay. Hmm? Wait, I thought I did the math. Okay, so they thinned once, twice, three, four, five. Six. Okay, yeah, they do have an extra card. All right. Try to answer this with Triss. I mean, we, there's only one option that doesn't. And this is like a guaranteed card I can answer versus like Croc where I can't. I mean, again, it's not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed, but it's really likely. Hmm, I mean, they don't have a great target for that. What else am I playing this turn? Mamuna? Mamuna gives a good target, so I guess I just play this now. Okay, don't low roll too much. Okay, Let's see if they can deal with Spear Tip here. Do I get an extra six points? If they have a lock, I guess that's bad. They don't have a lock. And Deranged Corsair is pretty redundant in this. He banishes himself. Oh no. Uh, it did it up three times. That's pretty messed up. Okay. No need to boost anything. This isn't doing anything really. I'm worth having to play after I'm gonna, so I just play Luna now. I can is there use using or consume here. Ugh. Oh, I can use mm, it's only get one though. 
Is this gonna be one token that I just ping away? Hmm. This is on the bottom. Hopefully I draw onto this. That would be amazing. Get a lower power unit on the board. That's now. nice. Um, This gives a lot of value on this. I already have tall units. Alright. Hmm, I mean... Give you a one to have fun with. We're up by a lot of points. We still have some good points left. Let's shuffle it back, right? No. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, Terra of the Seas. Oof, that was a lot of points. Okay, so we'll have to end worth here. <gasps> oh my god, that's so beautiful. So yeah, I can't play this yet because then I'll play one of these. Instead, I want to play this first. Oh my god, I got my full. Okay, all right. <laughs> we might be okay here. Rude. Okay, another long ship. Okay, so now I play this. And then I eat this. Still up five points. They could have run free left. Beautiful scenario. Okay, I do give them some points here. Unless I think they don't have a lock, in which case I could wait. It's only an extra three points. But I don't have to give it to them. They can't have heat wave. If they had a lock, they might have played it already on this. So if it's a lock and run free, it's likely Bjorn and run free, but it could be a lock. And if it's a lock, it's very bad. I think I just have to play around the lock. I'll know in a second if it's the right move. I mean, I'm up a bunch of points. That also is bad. It's more Farg. Okay, so I didn't have to do that. They also didn't play next to... Next to Croc. Next, yeah. Okay, alright. So there's a lot of points here. And the next card is Renfrey. So I just need to play around, like, Wrath. Which is fine. Play around there? Okay. Alright, so they need a 30 point run free to win this. Plus, they have two points here, so they need 28 points from run free. Alright, run free, what you got? Wrath on this, plus some other stuff, could be actually enough. So 
have to wait and see. So it's nothing obvious, at least. <laughs> okay, it's Wrath. So it's 4, plus it's 8, plus 9, 10 points right there. Oh, interesting. The lowest provision card. Okay. I actually could have made that better. Because the Peller is not going to do it. Oh my god, I won. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> we did it. They could have had extra... They dealt 2 damage here first. That would have been... An extra 4. So they still wouldn't have won, actually. Which is just a beautiful thing. <laughs> Good game. See? They don't have enough to control. Alright, let's go again. If they can win round 1 this time, that'd be cool. Especially against the scenario deck, which I'd like to bleed. Alright. Hey, we have the same border. Okay, up against Force of Nature. So, they're not necessarily going to be super strong round one. In such a way as my last opponent. But on the other hand, I really need to win round one and bleed them round two. Excuse me. Okay. So we've got Scenario. We don't have any Thrive. We have one Thrive unit. Let's see. We're on Red Coin. We have two Thrive units now. Griffin's going to come out, but I can make it work. I don't want to try to work Spear Tip, but let's do this in case I get Penitent. Alright, we don't. <laughs> self Eater? Oh, this is Relics. Okay. You can also bleed Relics, I think. So let's try to win on even with this scenario here. Yeah, already ahead. <laughs> so I'm okay to play Old Spear Tip in this round. Wait, really? Hmm. So I need to play this before I play my next threat card. Should be fine. Leader? Is this a Ren Free Relics? Probably. Okay, they're not going for it yet. But, oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. But I can just hit one of these and then it's just a one point return engine. Hey, yeah, good game. be fine. Okay. So let's just shut this down. tip and then these guys. Maybe these guys. Maybe one of these first. And then it's a boost. Ah, it's just tempo. Okay, they get two points a turn. This is worth nine right now. And then I have a ten point play. And I'll get another twelve. That should be enough. I need to play in such a way where this can actually, you know, work. <laughs> Okay, Defender. Let's see, so now this is 10, and then if I pass, it's another 12, so 22. Get 64, it's enough. Next one plays for 6, though. It's a she who knows, I was kind of afraid of that. After Defender. So now if I pass, I go to 64, this plays for 9. This plays for 9, yeah. So, 9 plus 12, 21, 73. So, I have to yen first. So, if they play another card, I. No, if they pass. 
Yeah, if they play another card, I pass. If they play another... If they don't play a card, I play again. Should be enough. It's at least... At least seven, right? So, wait, nine and seven. No, wait, 21 and seven, right? That's what we got. It's 28, we 80, which is exactly enough. All right. Wait. Let's play for six. Okay, so now I need to get lucky with this Yennefer. And I'm okay to throw in. Best yield now. Okay, we got a six. Yeah, okay, it's exactly enough. Nice! <laughs> that was scary. Okay, um, I had a lot of chances for that not to work out, which would have been very sad. But I could have used a leader charge if, ha if I had to. Okay, they have that. Alright, Maxi's great to have. I think I just kind of bleed it anyway. Either, if I don't bleed, I lose my card. I mean, these are bricks, but I want to keep kind of a higher card in hand for Triss. Maybe I just keep mulliganing to see if I can get more. I don't know. These are good, though. I'll try to just get two. Well, I don't want to give them another turn if she knows. Should be able to avoid it pretty well though. I think I'm just gonna do better in a short round. They probably have like Triss Meteor Shower. This. These What's similar I'm supposed to do? Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Emlareth is not really a card I wanna have. It's a rat catcheress. That could definitely get dangerous. But this does five damage to it. And now if I pass, they could play another card though and get she who knows carry over. Hmm. Vincent, they have eight cards around three. <laughs> this is dangerous between these two. If I drew Triss, that would be nice. Okay, maybe I just... The next card they play should be able to get she knows back for round three, so it's kind of like... Do I try to bleed them more, and shorten the round, or... Do I let them have ten points into a shorter round? I mean, they played both self-eaters. Bloody Mistress, they might have Sabbath. Sabbath is actually okay. Alright, okay, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this, but. Alright, I lose a card, but I was always losing a card, and I got a Rash Catcheress, which is actually a pretty good engine. That's great, that's really cool, that's nice too. I guess he can eat Maxi. And then I'll draw into this at the end. So once I thin everything else out, I can Emlareth into Cursed Damsel. There's no point in playing. Although Cursed Damsel, be, if, if I could switch this out for a Cursed Damsel, I would. Thanks for the lock. Okay, so they... <laughs> Why? Alright. So I guess I could just start with Emlareth now and I'll have a lock in hand. It's fine. So that was a 10 point merch. Well, it gives me a lock. I still want to keep. Okay, they have a butterflies too. I kind of want to keep my higher cards in hand for. or in deck for Triss, but. I'm always going to have a 4 in deck. So I can just take the. Thrust right now, I guess. Leave the higher cards in deck. I'm not use any of my removal yet. <laughs> they, they merchant me. What the heck? Okay, this is the beast. It's gonna go to a six. You can just lock that. Wait, 
like a 62 out of 3 shot to answer that. Where's the lock here? Hmm, I'd rather the beast or what other engines could they have? Play the lock while I can. the move because if I want to thin something out which I think I need to thin out Amuna soon to avoid having it be a Saba. Lesser Witch doesn't really matter. Okay so now I just Mamuna doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> Up 30 points I don't have a leader. They still could be run free. Renfrey just can't can't hack it. Okay. Oh, they have crones. They don't hit this, sir. So we just play penitent. They also played on the other row, which makes me think they don't have Tris, Tris rocks in hand. Okay. Gurdon's a little, little bit rude. Okay, I'd rather just save the lock. They know I have the lock, too. Might as well just answer one of the, Not answer, just... This merchant who is so mean to me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Cheek <-chee. laughs> Oh, that was funny. Alright. Not sure if it was rent free but, you know, good game all the same. Two Yurdens, one day. I guess that kind of makes sense in this meta with um, knights. Well, I haven't seen knights in a while, but knights and harmony kind of row stack. I don't know. This deck, this deck works well. You know, like I said, you've got to be careful not to brick things, and you always end up bricking a few things. Although this game, I would have not bricked anything if um, if it weren't for that meddling merchant. Um, but it's honestly really fun, and the, the Triss and Yen get consistent value because you have all these high pipe base power units that you can keep in the deck, then out later. Um, it's a lot, it's very point slamming, and the scenario offers a good way to potentially win round one, which is great, especially when your hand could be awkward otherwise. Um, it also just fills in those extra cards that you want to have in the deck that aren't, um, thinning cards, so they're pretty good value cards, like Drowner's just nice, and Cursed Damsel's really good. Like, you could see I had some control in, in those games. Like in that last one there, I really controlled the self eaters pretty well, um, and even, um, yeah, yeah. And so it, it kind of has enough. A lock, like an, a natural lock in the deck would be pretty cool. There's just not really space for it, but you can mix and match a few things. And like I said, there's also a run free version of the deck where you trade out scenario, and I think trade out one of the other thinning options for like the run freeze gang, which is more thinning. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the deck. I, I found it a lot of fun. You know, please like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.